Well, hello, welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue, and tonight we open with this video that, to avoid any copyright stuff, I'm not going to play. But I can tell you what happened here. Megan was uh, interviewing her one and only photographer, Miss and Harriman, when she mentions that Archie has inspiration that runs deep in her own words. In terms of photography, of course, I guess that it runs in the family. You knew that Megan uh, knew how to take pictures, right? She's a professional, a woman of uh, many talents. It's, it's not because uh, Catherine takes uh, pictures as well. No, this is not a competition. It has never been one. It's just pure coincidence. But the thing is that Megan told this anecdote that Harriman was one day talking about photography with them and the kids were around and some days or weeks later, I don't know, Megan gifts Archie a camera. That's nice, right? right? But, well, uh, that is until she says that Archie complained that it was not a Leica, like Missons. And I thought to myself, oh my God, Archie is a man of culture. I'm impressed. But for my lovely rogues that do not know what a Leica is, it's a very, very special brand of cameras. Not like Canon or Sony or Fujifilm. No, ew, those are brands for peasants. So, an obvious question arises. Did Miss and Harriman talk about just photography or he also mentioned Photoshop? Because I have no doubts that is, if Archie knows what a Leica is, he knows what Photoshop is. And, and that would be amazing. The good thing is that now Archie uses his non-Leica camera to pursue Harry all over Montecito Manor. You know that Harry's reaction to the click, click, click. Uh, it must be funny for a four-year-old to watch his father running, screaming. And the reactions of the public uh, did not wait. Ali Barbie, of course he knows he's currently working on his opus magna about Heidegger's existentialism. And you think he wouldn't know the brand? He's due the papers next week at Oxford University. Chad, Asian wife, when she opens her mouth, the default is to lie. How would a preschooler have an idea what a Leica is or the idea of a luxury camera? I'm sure they can't read <laughs> just yet. And people don't call cameras based on their brand name. They will just say camera. So how does Aldi know how to say Leica? L-O-L. Sarah Booth. My dad was a newspaper photo editor and had lots of cameras, mostly Leicas. All his friends were other newspaper men, similarly kitted out. I grew up in that world. At four or four and a half years old, I had no idea of its name or worth. Toys were better. But Harry cannot escape from reality, and now even his friends are making sure that the world knows what's going on behind closed doors. Prince Harry's friends picks out as he outlines how Meghan Markle has changed the Duke. And one of Prince Harry's friends has admitted that the Duke of Sausages hasn't been as fun now since he married Methane. Former rugby player James Haskell, who was capped for England 77 times, let's slip the information while on stage for a live performance of his podcast. Who should be there wandering around having a good time, but Prince Harry. Haskell recalled as he spoke about the wedding. He hadn't met her, Meghan, yet, so he was still quite fun. Well, I I'm glad to know that not only through body language can one confirm that Harry hasn't been the same after he met Meghan. Th that people who know him personally can attest that he was never the same. And Meghan will not be the same after the awesome achievement of being named the top most disliked celebrity of 2023, together with none other than Amber Heard. But then I have a question. Where is Jada? But Harry should not fear falling into the dark pit of 
irrelevancy because he nabbed a respectable fourth position right behind Ellen and ahead of Oprah. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think I have never seen so much toxicity in just one page. I can feel the bad juju. But not everybody despises the Montecito morons because there are still contenders to seize the sausage shield crown that Omid Scoby is about to vacate, such as the case of Brioni Gordon, another unofficial Lickspittle who stepped into the Fen Harry from Piers Morgan's attacks, saying that uh, his, ha his notion of Harry's plot to bring down the monarchy is ridiculous. Uh, the misery that Prince Harry has been through is unthinkable. Far from scheming against the royal family, the Duke is looking for peace. The truth behind Prince Harry's action is far less exciting than some people would want us to believe. It comes not from wanting to bring down the monarchy, but from wanting to help protect future generations from what he went through. The notion voiced by Piers Morgan this afternoon that Harry sitting in Montecito plotting is as ridiculous as it is fanciful. The reality is he's hanging out with his wife and two young kids looking forward to spending Christmas with them. Well, I, for one, I'm sure the kids want to spend time with their parents, but as usual, that's up to Meghan and Harry. It's laughable that the article was so biased that the Telegraph had to close the comments after a while. Now, thanks to Jen Carson Taylor, we can read some of the gems that people left for Briony. Harold's body wasted no time in posting her opinion. A very few minutes later, 45 comments and telegraph closed comments. Uh, Britt needs to read. Bryony, you'll starve as a comedian. Rubbish. Biased account. Sorry, but you've called it wrong. Harry has shown no dignity whatsoever, and it appears that much of what he now does is designed to enhance his personal brand. It's hard not to be sympathetic about parts of his upbringing. But how we respond to adversity is what shapes us. His demanding and entitled response when he doesn't get his own way allows us to see the real him. Uh, but maybe that's not part of Megan's vision. And when it comes to Megan, you know it's always about a vision. And thanks to Harry's gray suit, uh, we know that Megan Kelly confirmed that the Duchess of Sausages had a vision board of the royal family while married to her ex, Trevor Engelson. Now she can put stalker on her resume. And another reason for Harry to reconsider his stance regarding his family is the popularity of the royal family. Coverage of the King's Coronation was the most watched television show of this year with an early 12 million tuning in to watch the historic royal occasion. Not bad, huh? But I would love to know what you think about all this in the comments. My Royal Rogues, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas, I'm the Royal Rogue. And until we meet on another video or another live, remember the two most important words, much love and bliss.